now I'm gonna demo the pearl. So it's gonna be a white pearl. So um, this is my messy palette. And um, so I have here gray and I have here mud. So this is what we get when we clean the palette. So out of all the colors, minus the white, it's in here. And that's what we get there. So that's actually my favorite color to, um, to paint pearls. And you can see the difference between a regular gray and um, or my gray and our mud. So I'll get that. And I super love that color for pearls. We'll come here and this is a piece that is in progress on my class. And then you go here. And this is how precise I want you to be. Okay, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you just go like that. And that's how precise I want you to be, truly. No blending, I'm actually trying to be even more, um, not even, I mean uneven, that's what I'm trying to do. So on the pearls, think of a smiley face. So we want a big eye, so in here light comes from everywhere. But if you have a very defined side of the light, or that side where the light comes from, we're gonna be, do a big eye on that side and a little one on the other side. So the, the source of the light comes from the, where the big eye is. And then we got a little eye here, and I'm using a number six, uh, no, actually a number round, uh, number round, number four round. And then we go back to the pearl, the smiley, remember that? And then the smiley is gonna be right here, that's the smiley, okay? And it's silly and it works, so, Go back to the palette, I get that same mud in a little bit of black. And actually my black has a little bit of blue and green and everything, so it works great. You come here and you do the shadow of the pearl, will go in the middle. Because it's a round, it's a sphere, and it's all shiny all the way around. And so it works, it works that way. Actually Google it, um, check pearls, just put pearls and then you'll see that the shadow is always there in the middle. Okay, and then with the stippler, I have two size stipplers, and that's my other size. So these are my two size stipplers. So I have a number two and a number four. So I'll grab that number four. Always dry in the napkin and clean it. Always dry and then on the napkin. And then you come here and I use it in two ways. You stomp, so meaning stomping this way, all the way around the, the light go around the light and not over the light, so you don't lose it. Makes sense, right? Then you come here, you clean again, okay? And you go back, and then I use it in two ways. You stomp or you glide, okay? So when I'm gliding, I'm actually pressing down, not too much, so I'm not squee squishing, squishing the, 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 br the brush this way. I'm hardly touching it, but I'm gliding, I'm, I'm sliding that brush over, so, and I blend that way. So it's kind of cool to use both. So in here, at a certain point, we're gonna start losing the cleaning again, always dry, never in the oil. And I have orange for cleaning my regular brushes and magic for painting and for blending. But in here, we're gonna do it just dry. And we come here, back here, and then we go, like in this area, I will flip the stippler and use the, that tail, the little tail of the stippler, and you push light with it. I hope you can see this. I'm doing the video with one hand and painting with the other. <laughs> and then I get the little one, the teeny tiny one. That's the number two. And then we go around and I'm, I'm, I'm gliding with the stipper. And this is big enough that I can come back with my blender and put it here in the oil, fan it and squeeze that. So squeeze that out, okay? So it's flat and faint, okay, and I come back here with my pearl, and I can blend a little, very little. Just super, super little. And you, we still see the little alien there, and that's cool, we want that. We want to see that little alien there. So I'm still wiping out a little bit more light. And something I like to do is to go around and extend that light all the way around. So it's like you have that reflected light, that smiley is, is going now all over, all around. And I'm just gonna turn my piece very slowly. This is just one fire, we're working on the first fire. You can see my plastic wrap right there. And I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys and pushing all the way around. So what I'm doing, I'm not painting, I'm pushing the color to the edge. So we have a nice, beautiful round pearl. And I turn that 
turntables. I'm not working on my turntable right now, but it's just flat. This is flat and it's easier to, to have it down. And then right here, just keep going and blend. Just blend and blend with the stippler. It's just so easy. And actually when you do it with the stippler, when you pounce with the stippler, it's cool because you get that effect, that texture, the little texture, the pore of the of the nacre, the nacre of the pearl. So um, that will be for the first fire. And then for the second fire, we're gonna probably add more shadows in here. And then we're gonna blend with more colors on top and maybe we'll do another, another um, video of that. So um, see you soon. Love you, bye.